Hi, Ruthie. Thank you for joining us. Of course. Well, you started by asking, how is your first WNBA training camp experience? Um, it's been pretty fun so far. I mean, I have a great team and they're all super nice and um, understanding that, you know, I'm a rookie. So it's been really fun. Okay, great. Um, Eric Wilson, we'll start with you. Hey, Ruthie. How are you? Good. How are you? Doing well. Thank you. Appreciate you doing this today. Uh, you know, Coach Wade had said earlier that, you know, when you first came in, it seemed like you were really kind of thinking things through. But now as the week has gone on, you're understanding the schemes better. How do you feel? Yeah, I mean, at first I was just, I think, overthinking and coach and, you know, Courtney and stuff. But they were just like, just don't think so much. Just play like you're a great player. I just play. And I think every day I've gotten better at just playing, understanding the offense and defense. And I know once I um, just start to play my game, it's been way smoother. And is there one aspect of your game that you're focused on right now, considering that we, you know, there is this short season and you ladies are in one area? Um, I think I'm really focused on, you know, just getting rebounds as much as I can, helping out in the little ways. Um, it's definitely different than college. You know, the girls are better rebounders, stronger rebounders. So I definitely want to work on that and make that a strong suit in this season. All right, Maddie Kenny. Hey, Ruthie. Um, transitioning to the WNBA from college is difficult for any rookie, but given the unprecedented situation you're kind of getting thrown into this season, um, just generally, how are you handling with all this newness and who has been kind of helping you or like a go-to person for you to confide in throughout this process? Yeah, I mean, getting thrown in, I mean, it's kind of so far so good, you know, no one's really used to this um, atmosphere. So everyone's still trying to learn, you know, how to act and what to do. And Stephanie has been huge help for me on and off the court. And so has Diamond. Diamond's just a great person. And she's like, since day one, since I've gotten to Chicago, she's been nice. She's been looking out. She's been helping me, picking me up. So I'm really, really happy I'm her teammate. Thank you. Yeah. Jamal Collier. Hey, uh, just the bubble experience so far. Can you kind of just describe it to me, somebody who's not there, what, what that's been like and kind of what your life is like right now? Yeah, I mean, most of us are in hotels or villas and, uh, you know, we see everyone at lunch or breakfast. We all have masks on all the time. So, you know, I'm walking around, I'm like, oh, is that her? Is that her? You know, because the mask. But I mean, so I think it's been, you know, as best as it could be in the bubble. It's been fun. Uh, and then just the challenge of of getting ready, like since your first season, and 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 uh, obviously so many different factors into it. Just what has been maybe the biggest hurdle, the biggest thing that you tried to be mindful of um, as you prepare for the season? Uh, you know, just the pace and the strength of all these uh, women out here. They're super strong and they go super fast. So I'm just trying to, you know, keep in pace with them, know the plays, and like I said earlier, not think so much and just play my game. And I think that'll be the hardest hurdle to get over, but also I feel happy once I get over that hurdle, it'll be way easier. Thanks. Jackie Powell. Hey, Ruthie. Thank you so much for joining us. Just a couple questions for you here. So I saw that you, Sabrina, and Satu had a reunion lunch. Could you tell me a little bit about that? And what did Sabrina tell you about how things are going for her at the Liberty? Um, I mean, it's just always nice to see your old teammates and we just got together, you know, because we can't do much in the bubble. So, you know, seeing old friends is definitely nice. And I think she's, um, you know, happy where she is and excited to get to play like all of us. And just to follow up, um, I'm curious if you could tell me a little bit about how Sabrina maintains an ability of being maybe relatable or fun with her teammates, but also being incredibly responsive and focus to a coaching staff. And so I want to know, how does she maintain that duality? And how is her leadership and learning style a benefit being on a really young team, like in New York? Um, I mean, she's just a great player. So I think she can be serious and focused, but also, you know, be a great friend, great teammate on and off the court. And I think she's going to be um, a huge asset to New York and lead the rookies and also um, have a lot to teach the older players as well. So I'm just excited to see what she does and how she, you know, transforms this young team of hers. Thanks so much, Ruthie. Mm -hmm. Erica Ayala. 
Thank you so much. Ruthie, um, I have a, f a few different questions for you. First, uh, I, I was able to speak with your college coach, Kelly Graves, and he wondered if um, you being with Courtney Vandersloot might um, add some comfort to a very new situation. I'm just curious, him having coached Courtney, have you been able to, to notice any things that you pick up um, with Courtney maybe a little bit more easily than with other teammates? Um, I just know it's nice to have, you know, Courtney to talk to and she talks about stories about Coach Graves and we talk back and forth about that and she's like one of the best point guards I've played with and it's fun to do the pick and roll with her. It's fun to see her pass the ball to any of her teammates because she's just so um, court wise and court smart. So it's been super fun to play with her and um, easy to play with her. You know, it's um, kind of like a good flow, I think. For sure. The next question is, um, I'd really be interested to learn a little bit more about your hockey background. I cover women's hockey as well. And I remember uh, uh, seeing some pictures and images of you playing playing hockey. Uh, so, you know, if, if, if the W doesn't work out, are, are you going to go pro hockey? <laughs> Yeah, maybe, no. Uh, my dad played college hockey, and we all played hockey growing up off and on. I didn't play as much, but I definitely like watching it. So, you know, if, you know, basketball doesn't work out, maybe the Blackhawks could, you know, draft me or something. I don't know. All right, let's go. We got in <laughs> on record now. Finally, Ruthie, um, I want to ask you, I'm, I'm also writing about one of your teammates from Oregon, Satu Sabali, and I'm, I'm curious to, to hear from you how you think your two leadership styles are similar and how they were different during your time uh, at Oregon? Um, I think um, she's definitely you know, an awesome player and a great leader as well. She's vocal, she talks, and I think I'm more of a lead by example, you know, like follow me, do what I do, and she um, definitely talks more, and I think those worked out at Oregon as well because, you know, you have vocal people, you have people who you just lead by example, and, you know, that's what made us so successful at Oregon. Do you think the unicorn nickname suits her? Yes, definitely. <laughs> Thanks, Ruthie. Of course. Do a favor. Great. Um, hi, Ruthie. Um, just a, uh, two questions for me. One is, um, what what have you? I know it's, it hasn't. It's only been a week, but what have you maybe learned about some of the things you need to improve on and? James Wade is such a great coach. How do you think he can help you improve on anything that you might need to improve on? Um, I guess we'll start there and then I have another question. I'm improving on um, more post, slow post moves, you know, being patient with the ball, up and unders, pivoting, um, shimmy, stuff like that. Is something I need to work on at this level because, you know, the girls are so smart and so big and strong. And he's an amazing coach. I mean, every day it's fun to come in and see him. And he's so smart and has a great personality. So it's fun to be able to go out and have a coach that you know cares about you and also is so, like, intense and focused on the biggest goal, is, which is winning this whole thing. Oh, that's great. Yeah, he's a player's coach for sure. And actually, that kind of leads to my next question. I know it's hard to come in on, you know, when you're the new person. But last year, this, this guy had kind of a heartbreak ending. Um, and they're pretty hungry this year to come in and, and make that right. Are they – are they bringing you along with them? Have you absorbed that hunger to make up for what was not right last year? And are you guys determined to take it farther? Yeah, I think everyone is super focused and determined. I think every single player on the sky is an athlete and also a competitor. So, you know, coming into a competitive atmosphere makes you want to be better, makes you want to, makes you hungry for winning the scrimmage, winning the practice, winning, you know, the whole thing. So it's definitely fun to be on a team that cares about you, loves you, um, from the start and also is competitive and wants you to be a part of, you know, the success we're about to have. Thanks so much. And I hope you guys, I hope you, uh, I hope to see you on a TikTok soon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Owen Pence. Hi, Ruthie. Uh, you, you touched on this a little bit earlier, but I just would like to get a sense from somebody who will never get the opportunity. What's it like running a pick and roll with Sloop? Uh, um, it's awesome. I mean, it's just so fluid, you know, being able to pick and sometimes just like Sabrina is like, oh yeah, here comes the ball, you know, and yeah, even it's great to watch her, you know, with other post players do the pick and roll as well. And just her passing and her timing is just so um, impeccable. It's cool to see and to be a part of. Awesome. Thank you. Maddie. Um, hi, Ruthie. I had a quick follow up. Um, I was just wondering, what are some like personal goals? We know what the team wants to accomplish this season, but what are some of your own personal goals that you have for your rookie year? 
I think I just want to go in and be the best I can be at whatever they need me to do. Um, I want to make an impact. I'm hoping I can make impact. I'm hoping to, um, you know, do the little things that will give the other, you know, better veterans um, chances, like second chances on rebounds or blocking out and just stuff like that to get us, you know, moving and get us um, to get more and more chances to win and score. Thank you. Eric Wilson. Hey, Ruthie, I got to ask you, when you knew you were coming into the bubble, what was that one item that you had to bring with you? Uh, I brought definitely my baby blanket. If anyone from Oregon can say, you know, I always have that with me wherever I travel. So, you know, it's with me. <laughs> awesome. Jamal Collier. Wait, are your baby blanket? What is this? <laughs> That's what, what I had to bring with me to the bubble. <laughs> what kind of uh, blanket is it? Like It's a blanket that, <laughs> yeah, you know. All right, look it up. <laughs> Erica Ayala. Sorry, I was on, on mute there. <laughs> Ruthie, um, again, just while I have, have you for another minute, um, can you also maybe react to Satu Sabali being invited to join the Social Justice Council? From what I understand, she was pretty involved while at Oregon as well. Yeah, um, she's definitely passionate about um, a lot of things. And I think it's just so cool that she has the opportunity to um, use her voice and be a part of something super big and something that's super important in our world right now. Thank you. favor um you know you know what actually i don't have i don't have anything else to ask right now i covered it but thank you okay jamal did you have uh, another question no you're good nope. all right thank you guys thank you ruthie thank, thank you. you very much great thank day you.